Uh, well, first of all, just really want to congratulate Tennessee. I thought they were really tough today, showed great uh, resilience. Um, we jumped out in the second uh, half, uh, early in the third quarter. I thought our kids really played. The first thing I wrote on the board was how hard we played coming out of the gate in the second in the second half. We talked about we thought we could get some transition. Game was really slow and methodical in the first half. So I was I was just super proud of our kids for how they came out of the locker room. We had talked about it. We didn't want to sacrifice rebounding. I don't think we did. Um, and we really came out in that third quarter and played really hard. Um, but our fourth quarter, our, our four for 22, um, put them on the line 20 times, I think, in the fourth quarter and overtime. And that's a lot, y'all. Hard to win a game when you're doing that. And, uh, you know, it, it ain't about playing hard today for our kids. I mean, we, we actually got more offensive rebounds than they did, and they got too many. They got 18, but we got 20. Uh, and we got out rebounding 15. Um, we knew they were going to be a great offensive rebounding team, but we forced 24 turnovers. We had 15 steals. I mean, you don't do that standing around in a 2-3 zone playing hope you miss defense. So I'm, I'm proud of my kids for, you know, competing. I mean, did we make some mistakes? Absolutely. We, we made mistakes that a young team makes or an inexperienced team makes at times. Um, I can't tell you how I many free throw jumpers we may have missed. Y'all probably know better than I do. But we missed a bunch of free throw jumpers against their extended zone, something that we worked on. But again, it's, it's uh, you know, you got to want to be in that moment. Uh, we wouldn't have scored. Aaliyah wouldn't have had her five that she got late if, uh, if we hadn't have put her in there. Because we, had, we were searching. I used, I think we, I put three people in there to see if somebody could make a shot. And Aaliyah did. She, she made a big shot for her, made a couple big shots for us. But, you know, um, again, just it's not the outcome we wanted. Um, you know, I thought Horston was special today, played really hard and wanted the ball, wanted to make shots. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, we just – we I know we're going to learn from this. And, um, and again, as I told the, the girls, you know, the game doesn't cheat you, y'all. You get out of the game exactly what you put into it. You have your worst practice of the year on Friday, one that ain't much better Saturday, that's what you're going to get. And again, my job as the coach to get them home, up, up or down four with four to go, that's my job. That's my job. I didn't get them home today. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter about the rest of it. My job as the coach is to get them home. And I didn't get them home today. I didn't have them quite ready to go. And that's my job. But we'll learn from it. Uh, I was proud of all of our kids. I thought we fought. We battled. We got some young kids that made some, you know, they'll learn from their mistakes. And it's, it's fine. But, again, I thought Tennessee was relentless and uh, thought the crowd got into it late when they needed to. And, um, you know, we just had so many things we had to overcome today that we just ran out of bullets to overcome them. Coach, Tamari Key has made that jump from sophomore to junior year in the paint, which is a hard transition. You know the history of Tennessee from your time playing against Tennessee, coaching against Tennessee. She is on now the only the second Lady Vol in program history to record two triple doubles in her career. Just what does that say about Tamari Key's development here? <laughs> you know, I thought she was the difference in the game, and it has nothing to do with – I mean, she went one for three in the second half. She was four for nine for the game. She made some free throws today. I thought she controlled the game defensively. I mean, I just thought she commanded. She had a presence in the paint, and that's what makes her really special. I mean, y'all know I had one just almost like her uh, that was really dominant for me at, at Mississippi State. And when you've got that person, that's your forgiveness player, right? When your guards get beat off the bounce, she's there to forgive them. And, and Tierra was our forgiveness kid for, you know, a long time. And so that's, that's what she does for them. And, um, you know, I, I thought she's the difference in the game. It's not the four for nine. In fact, she went one for three. And say that. She, she really made it hard for us to do anything down low. And then when we did get a clean look, you know, a couple of times we rushed it because you're thinking, oh, my God, oh, my God, I'm open, I'm open. And then you're thinking she's coming and you miss it. So – Thought she was cert certainly special and the difference in the game defensively for them. 
this is for anyone, but Jordan Horston today and in the last game kind of comes alive in the fourth quarter. And, you know, how hard is it to stop a player when they get going it late in the game like that? Well, I think it, you're not going to do it, you know, one on one with her. I think you got to do it collectively. We talked about taking away her space and not letting her operate in space, and you know, I think we did that some. She had eight turnovers, um, and so we did a, a, a decent job of not letting her operate in space. But she goes 11 for 22 and and um, makes some big shots. You know, you can't take that from the kids. She was special today down the stretch, and uh, I, I think again, she ain't scared. You know, she, she wants the ball in that situation. And um, I think that's what makes her so special. So you, you, you have to love a kid that wants to be in that moment. I think I've got kids that want to be in that moment. Um, tonight, we didn't answer it, but we have in the past and we will in the future. But I thought that kid really down the stretch, like you said, fourth quarter and overtime, heck, we all knew who wanted the ball. We all knew who was going to have it. And, uh, you know, my, my dis, you know, you go through their starting lineup, there's four out of five that shot 50% or better. I'm going to call five for 11, 50%. That's my math. I've had one, one math class in college, so we'll call that 50. Other than every, you know, so four out of five starters for Tennessee shot pretty well. And we still have them at 41%, which that's not up to our standards. But the problem with them is it ain't the first one. It's the misses. It's the second and the third one when you don't stick a butt in the gut. And that's the challenge for us right now and the, the toughness piece, you know, being physical. And, 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 you know, one of our bigger physical kids today was out. And, uh, you know, it was an opportunity for some others to step up. And uh, so we'll keep working. I mean, it's – I had a pretty good team on – I looked over there one time in the second half and go, man, I got a pretty good team over here sitting on the bench. I had three in boots. I had two in foul trouble. And, and, and it, was, it was a pretty good team, but I, I couldn't play them right then. Coach, this is sort of building off of what Maria asked, but, you know, obviously with your experience coaching against Tennessee in the SEC, how does this Tennessee team compare to some of the others that you coached against when you were there? Well, I mean, again, their coach is a descendant of, of, of Coach Summit, and so they, they play, they rebound the basketball. That's the first thing that jumps out at you when you watch film. They're physical. They crush you on the backside. Uh, you know, if you're not – if you don't literally physically fight them, it's just, it's hard. And, you know, what you got to appreciate about a team like that is, even on free throws, they're going hard. You know, a lot of kids, eh, we'll step in here. And we did it tonight. You know, they step in because what do they see in the NBA? Guys don't try to go get offensive boards. People just step in. So that's what they think it is all about. Well, then you go against a, a Tennessee who's going hard, I mean, I'm screaming, you know, anybody paid attention, I'm screaming, Aaliyah Pinch, box out. Every free throw. Every free throw. I got to coach better, teach better. Because obviously I haven't gotten that point across. Ain't nobody fought with mine. So, again, we'll, we'll focus on that. But that's the thing that, you know, jumps out at you about Tennessee right away is the rebounding piece and how, how it's a – it's a point of emphasis for them. And, you know, sometimes when you have teams that don't shoot it well, it better be. You know, and I'm not saying that's them, but I'm just telling you, it ain't the first one that beat you with that group. They're going to go – they're going to make you earn it. Every rebound you get. How many jump balls we have in the game today? Bunch. Reminded me of an eighth grade game. You know, bunch of jump balls. I mean, that's just toughness, y'all. It's going and getting one and securing it and protecting it. So, uh, again, I, I, I thought we competed. I thought we, we tried. It's not like we didn't try. But there's some lessons to be learned from the film. And listen, the film don't lie. Um, Aliyah, you transferred from Mississippi State, so you're a little familiar, I guess, with uh, Thompson Bowling. But, I mean, as a team, you guys are perfect from the free throw line to the fourth and, and overtime. Um, how difficult is it when Thompson Bowling Arena is screaming at you to, to make those free throws? Um, I think sometimes in clutch moments, you know, you just get overwhelmed. Um, personally, I kind of just muted them out. I really didn't hear anything at the free throw line. I was just looking at the goal. But I think it just shows how young we are. You know, you get anxious in tough games like that. Been there. 
done that, we missed our free throws. You know, the only thing we can do is come back now, work on our free throws, and just do better overall. I don't really think it's anything more to it. We just had a day. We missed our free throws. Coach, you talk about Tennessee making you earn it all game. Uh, you did the same thing. Your guards were pressuring full court, half court the entire game, forced 24 turnovers. Just what are you trying to build at Texas from a defensive standpoint? Well, it's just that's who we are. I mean, that you know, if you've seen us, our, my teams play at, at State over the years, and, and uh, you know, that's our identity. That's who we are. That's uh, – you know, that's, that's where we really – it starts with us is on that end. And, um, you know, Rory, she's so different on the ball than what I've had. Um, and and uh, you go back to Morgan William, that's, they're, they're so similar. Uh, Maya Taylor, I mean, those kids all embraced that role. And, um, and so that's – you know, that's, that's who we are. That's our brand. That's, that's what we're known for. You know, when you play Texas, you're going to spend 15 minutes a day on press attack before you do anything else. So that's over the course of two or three days, that's 30 to 45 minutes that you're not going to get to work on your offense or your out-of-bounds plays or anything else because if you can't get the ball in, it's going to be a struggle. And our kids really embrace that. They love it. I mean, they, they really do. They, they've already embraced it. And, um, sometimes it's hard. Last year's team, man, I, they fought me all the way to the NCAA tournament on it. And uh, then they finally kind of bought in a little bit. But we were limited with our skill set somewhat and our lack of quickness. But, you know, these two are real crafty. They're handsy. They're, they're really – they can be smart. Joe's been to, down the wars. Audrey's tough. So I've, I've got a team that kind of – can play like I want to play, and, and that's what we want to do. We want to really make it hard on you. Uh, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to let you run some pretty offense. You're going to have to create, figure out. A lot of kids can't create their own shot, you know. They just can't, and uh, so that's what we're, that's what we want to do. Our help defense wasn't very good today. We took eight charges Wednesday. I don't think we took one today. Try to. Try it. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, there's your answer, you know. And, and again, look, y'all, we, we shot 31%, 30 from three, and 64 from the line, and we went to overtime. And really, we make our free throws in the fourth quarter, we don't get to overtime. So, I, I, again, we, we weren't great today. That's life on the road. It is what it is. We'll, we'll, I, I can't complain about how hard my kids play. We didn't play well at times, but we played awfully hard. For, for both players, obviously last Sunday, absolutely electrifying game. Had the full attention of women's basketball. This Sunday, again, Tennessee, Texas. I mean, that was anybody's game with 10, 15 seconds to go. Just how much is that good for the game, and how much do you like to play in games like that that really promote this sport? I mean, this is what we want. I mean, when – we step on the floor as being Texas across our chest. We know we're going to get everybody's best game. I mean, we just have to come out and play hard and limit our mistakes. You know, we didn't, you know, do the second part of that, but we did play hard. And, I mean, what can you do? We just have to learn up the line. Of, just learn every game that we come across, especially these games against a really good team like Tennessee. Um, I love it. I mean, Every game you, you want to have a fight. We don't want to play anybody that's not going to give us their best or that doesn't – that can't match our energy. Um, every game we want to show people why, you know what I'm saying, why we do what we do, why we play hard. We just want to be the best. So in order to be the best, you got to play the best. So I love it. I love to come out and play teams that are going to put up a fight. I don't want anything easy which is why I came to play for Coach Schaefer. So, I mean, we just want to play the best. These are the moments that we want. Like, these are the moments that we – this is the reason why we play basketball here for Coach Schaefer at Texas. We came here for a reason, so that's it. Thank you. Appreciate you all very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Praise the Lord and welcome. <clears throat>